this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And this is the uh, the second episode I'm doing in my Masterclass series, where I'm going through and trying to master every class. And uh, today, uh, it's the uh, the imp, and the imp is the uh, the little guy you can see at the the front of those zombies. And let's go buy a sticker pack as well. So yeah, uh, it's that little tiny guy. And I'm gonna be honest now, okay? He's not. Oh look, I got I got a new hat for him. That's not what I was gonna be honest about, but <laughs> I am gonna be honest uh, that he's not my favorite. He's probably one of the uh, uh, the characters I play least as on the zombie side. But oh, I got I got lots of cool customization stuff. Oh, look at that! I got a bow beard. Oh, okay. I think I might have to, to check that out uh, to, today. Ah! Yeah, I don't play him as uh, uh, plays him very much. I will be honest. So uh, this is going to be um, this is going to be interesting because. Uh, I'm gonna see whether at the end of this episode, if I try really hard to play as him and sort of make the most of what he can do, uh, then, I don't know, maybe it's gonna turn around my opinion, and eventually I'm gonna end up loving him, but we'll see, we'll see. So first I want to, I want to make sure I get on the, the zombie side. So I'm on the plant side, uh, but I can switch teams, I gotta make sure I get on it, there we go. So I'm on the, the zombie side, I'm doing, um, uh, the turf takeover mode. And so, okay, so we're defending... I was really hoping that we were going to be uh, attacking uh, because I think attacking on turf takeover uh, is going to be uh, when the uh, the imp is most useful, I reckon. Because so the way he works is he's really weak. Okay, his weapons aren't particularly strong, and he only has 50 health, and that is um that's pretty awful to be honest. They're like out of like compared to all of the other characters, uh, it's pretty rubbish. So he dies really fast, and uh, the moves he has is he has this uh, gravity grenade, and basically any uh, any enemies inside of here get lifted up. Uh, so basically other people can shoot them as well. Uh, he does the uh, imp cata, uh, which uh, makes him go like this and shoot everyone around. Uh, the problem is to to make that move effective, you have to be like between all of the other enemies, and like seen as you have so little health, the chances are by the time you have a chance to like use that move you're going to be dead anyway because like even if people aren't targeting you there's going to be like bombs and grenades and like all sorts of things like going off the chances are if you're close enough to use that move you're going to die anyway so the other big thing he can do is he can call in a big mech okay so you see the middle ability uh, the y one you can see that slowly charging up once that gets to fall, I can like climb into like a massive robot and I can go around inside of that. And that is pretty much his thing. You know, that is that is what he's all about because attacking like this, uh, he's pretty weak. It's pretty hard for him to uh, to go toe to toe uh, with any of these um these other characters. So the way I recommend playing is to to kind of go a bit crazy, I guess. And I guess he is crazy. So what I recommend doing is charging in and just don't care about if you die much because you're going to die a lot playing as this character. And oh, I got my mech ready already. Oh uh, yeah, you're going to die load. So what I recommend doing is just go in, do as much damage as you can, die, run in, do loads of damage, die. Just keep doing that over and over and over again until you get the, uh, the mech. Uh, and then that is when uh, you can really do some good damage. And this is the perfect time to call it in because uh, it looks like the, uh, the plants uh, are just uh, about uh, getting close to, to being able to, to actually attack. Uh, so it's all about timing. You don't want to, to get the mech and call it in immediately uh, if you don't think it's like a good time to, to use it. Uh, you don't have to use it straight away. Uh, you can save it for a little bit. Like you don't want to like save it for the, the entire game uh, because like obviously once you've used it, uh, you're going to be uh, starting it uh, like the timer uh, going for getting your next one. So you don't want to, uh, to waste it. Uh, you also don't need to like charge in completely gun ho when you have the mech. You can kind of hang back a little bit uh, like I'm doing here and take people off at range your health doesn't go back up and you can see that I have a, a battery power uh, so that means that um, uh, like after that's gone down uh, like the mech time is over so if you are too defensive uh, then you're just gonna waste your time so I recommend that like if you're just about to, to run out of battery you know just charge in anyway and just do uh, uh, as much damage uh, as damage as you can but uh, the reason why uh, I recommended using this guy uh, when you're uh, attacking is because it's great for like, oh no, look, your health does go up. I thought you did health. I guess your health. Oh, there's a healing thing here. There's like oh, a little healing fountain. Okay, so that does heal mechs. Oh, okay, so uh, look, here we go. I'm learning stuff already. So that means that if you had like uh, the healing scientist or something and a mech together, that would be so unbelievably destructive, wouldn't it? Like imagine that together. Like a mech being constantly healed, you could do some really good damage. So I think uh, that would be best uh, when like, when you, you know when you're kind of just stuck and you just can't get any room? 
like save up your mech and then push out and it's great for for doing that so that's why i think it's better for attacking uh because uh, i think that i don't know that that's when you kind of get stuck a little bit more and say if i was trying to attack that point and then i had a few of the imps on my team together and we all did imps at the same time like you don't need to, like, be continually vanquishing uh, the enemy team more than they are to you, like, in this game type. All that matters is that you're able to, to, to like, win uh, enough to be able to capture the point. And so, kind of, the time you have the uh, the mech is, like, the perfect time uh, to be able to, to do that. So, it's still pretty good at defending. Like, like the like earlier, if it does get to a point when they're about to, to capture it and you can bring out your mech, that could make the uh, the difference, uh, but as I mentioned, it is a uh, much better uh, for when you uh, you are uh, attacking. So that's kind of the the main things that I want to talk about then. So I guess making sure you get healed is something that we've uh, we've learned together. <laughs> Having mechs running together, like if you're playing with a few of your friends and like you all be imps and like we all get your mechs together, like there's not much the enemy th the enemy team can do about that. Like they're not indestructible. So I guess what I can talk about is like what to do against the imp because a lot of the times like I'll see like a, an imp with like a mech coming around the corner and I'll be like oh no there's like a mech run away but don't do that like attack it you know even if you don't kill it you kind of all need to like shoot it as a team in order to, to be able uh, to try and take it out so they're not invincible you can take them out uh, if everyone shoots as a team so what I recommend doing is kind of like uh, staying back from them uh, don't run in uh, in too close uh, and then um Oh uh, yeah, and then try and just like pick them off at range uh, because their health probably uh, won't be going back up. All you need to do is do like a little bit of damage and then if it starts shooting you, you can duck behind cover and then just poke out and do a little bit more damage and kind of just keep doing that uh, over and uh, and over again. But as you can see, uh, I'm sticking to my strategy at the moment of kind of just playing a little bit crazy, just running in, uh, hopefully trying to take out at least one person uh, dying and then just doing the uh, the same uh, again and uh, again and again because I'm so weak. Like literally 50 health is like nothing. Like against this pea shooter, like even though I got all those first shots, okay. If it had better shots, I think it was going to win there. That was, I was trying to make a point about how I was going to lose them, but then I ended up somehow winning it. But yeah, against that corn guy in like a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, I have no chance of winning. So it's really all about saving up for the uh, the mechs and then just using them at the right time. Like for now, I can see that they're really pushing in. You can see that uh, they're all getting very close. And oh, there's two in the area. Right, so now I want to get this mech as fast as I can. And uh, hopefully, uh, this is going to be enough to push them all back. Oh no, there's four of them in there. Right, I need to be as fast as I can. I don't know if I was a little bit too slow. Let's just go in and use my missiles and just take out anything I can. And oh no, see? See how quickly I got destroyed then? The whole team targeted me and I got destroyed. So I probably wasn't smart then. A smarter thing probably would have said you know, for, was, would be for me to say, right, we're going to lose this point. Let's hang back and use the mech and try and uh, uh, take them out at a, at a distance. But uh, I really wanted uh, to stop them uh, from capturing that point because it is very rare uh, that you uh, you win uh, as the uh, the zombie um, yeah in this game type. Like I played a few games uh, before this, uh, just playing as the, the imp for a little bit and uh, trying to learn the maps a little bit and also trying to get it so I was on the uh, the zombie side because I kept getting stuck in the plant side. Uh, but yeah, uh, every round I played, the uh, the plants won. The plants seem to be really dominant. I mean, I think they're the, the stronger team anyway, uh, but in this game type in uh, particular, it's very rare uh, that the zombies do win. So I was getting a little bit excited thinking that we might uh, be able to hold them off at the uh, the first point, but sadly, uh, it was not to be. But the game's not over. Uh, we still might win. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and just play our best, and uh, let's see uh, if we can get the, uh, the win. Like, I think at this point, uh, I would have uh, have changed class. As I mentioned, I really do think uh, the imp is uh, at his strongest uh, when he's um, uh, when he's on the attacking team. I haven't talked about some of the other things. So one of the other good things about the imp, uh, I got to say, is that he's really small, which is good. Like he's relatively quick compared to some of the the others, and he's very small, which uh, seems like an obvious thing, uh, but it makes him quite difficult to hit, especially when there's like a big crowd. People generally seem to target like the bigger enemies. You know, things like the um. Uh, what's like a big plant? Like the, the citrus plant? I oh, know he's on my team, isn't he? <laughs> like the citrus plants and uh, I guess like the cactus on the, the other side. Like people generally don't target you uh, as much when you're uh, when you're running around as the Im. So that's good. He can also like fly a little bit. He's got like a little jet pack so he can fly around like this. So he can get up uh, quite high places. Like can I get up here? There we go. See, like I can climb up on here uh, where some of the, the other characters uh, wouldn't be able to. But look at that. I got hit like pretty much once by that cactus and all of my health is gone. Like pretty much any other character... I I could have probably like took out that cactus uh, just because they weren't ready for me. But as the the imp, I've got no chance. Well, look at that! 
<laughs> I trapped three of them. I trapped three of them in my gravity grenades. That was pretty good. Like, you kind of, um, I think similar to the, the Citron character, I guess you're, you're generally more of a, a support character uh, when you're playing as the, um, uh, the imp. You know, until you get your mech, uh, you really can't do much by yourself. Uh, you're really just trying to keep everyone weak and uh, making it so that uh, the other your other teammates can go and help you out. So I realize now that they've almost captured that point and they got someone else going in. So I'm going to try and play a little bit smarter now. I'm going to like hang back a little bit more and uh, just try and deal out the, the damage and uh, try and survive for a little bit longer. There's a rose over there though and the rose are absolutely unbelievably powerful. So I want to make sure I try and take her out as fast as I can. I'm doing an awful job. Oh, the Rose is going to beat me just because of my bad aim. I think I was saved there by one of my teammates. I really I want one of those Healy things now would be uh, uh, would be absolutely amazing. So as uh, soon as I'm so weak, I'm going to try and stay back and just try and lay down as much long range damage as I can uh, just to try and hold them back. I feel like uh, we're pretty much going to lose this point. We had a long time to defend for and they had a lot of people heading over there. So let's just try and do a little bit more damage uh, and then I can go and respawn and we can go and try and have a uh, uh, another strong defense uh, over at the, the next one. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm really going to uh, save the uh, the mech up. I'm going to really... Uh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to really save it. Uh, so, oh, there's giant flies and stuff here. I really I really want time just to go and look around these levels. There's just so much interesting stuff everywhere. I really want uh, time to look it up. Anyway, as I was saying... Oh, there's an enemy there. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I really want time to... Um, uh, yeah, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to time the, uh, the mech. So I'm going to save it for when I feel like we really, really need it. Because uh, at the moment, I've been kind of doing what I said you shouldn't do. And every time it's available, I'm like, oh, I got it. And then I try and spawn it in uh, immediately. And uh, something that I should point out, just in case you didn't realize, is that it doesn't matter about dying so much. Like, when you die, like, the the cooldown period for the, uh, the mech uh, carries on going. Uh, which means that, like... It doesn't matter about staying alive from a lot for like a long period of time. Uh, all that matters is like you just don't switch away uh, from this character. And look, did you see those bats and chickens and things? <laughs> I don't think I've played this level before. I've the, I've only really played this level uh, from what I played like today, just now, and then the uh, the games I played with uh, Squid and Martin. I really haven't uh, spent much time in it, so it's kind of cool uh, to see some of these uh, these levels. All right, let's do a, a gravity grenade in there and uh, try and get some damage. I think I'm hurt by like some uh, area of uh, effect thing. So uh, it's, it's quite tricky because because he's so weak, it makes you want to like hang back and do damage at rage uh, at range. But his his weapons aren't that good at range. You really need to try and not fall in the water. <laughs> but you kind of really need to like tap fire them. Uh, because, uh, like, they really spread. And by that, I mean, like, the more you shoot, like, the less accurate you get. But if you tap like that, you can be more accurate. Uh, and also, you need to reload uh, quite regularly. Uh, so it's uh, it's also kind of good to, to time your reloads uh, to make sure you're doing them at a good time. But the only problem with doing the, uh, uh, the tap attacks uh, is that... Um, you don't do much damage, and so you're shooting a lot slower uh, when you're tapping. And as you can see, each shot only does three damage, which uh, uh, for the rate he, that he fires, uh, really isn't all that good. You can see uh, just how quickly uh, I'm taking out, uh, especially from all of the uh, the evil roses. So, oh, I'm getting healed, though. There we go. I'm, I'm, I'm getting healed up. Oh, no, there's a rose right here, though. This is going to be a dangerous respawn. <laughs> I tried to just get a gravity uh, grenade down straight away. Oh, no, there we go. I was, able, I was able to finally take someone out. Uh, they are really pushing in heavy now. Uh, so I think this is going to be uh, the perfect time uh, for me to, to bring out the, the mech. I don't have much health, uh, so I can... Oh, no, it didn't do it. Okay, let's go and stand a little bit away from the uh, the rock. I can see plants moving in as I speak. Right, there we go. There's a... Oh, no, that's not a, a plant. So let's just go and try and uh, push these guys back back a little bit like if you get a good run uh, with this mech uh, you can deal some amazing damage and there's all sorts of different types as well like I'm uh, mainly in this series uh, just going to be using all of the uh, the default characters because uh, then that way uh, I know that I'm going to be using a character uh, that you have as well but there's all uh, different types of mechs so kind of uh, experiment with any ones that you've got unlocked and uh, just see which works better to your play style they're, they're generally pretty balanced there's not normally like one which is way stronger than the the others uh, but if you like hanging back maybe quite a lot uh, then maybe it's a good idea uh, to do one with a long range gun or if you like charging in uh, there's some that have some like really powerful melee damage so uh, yeah make sure you uh, pick uh, the uh, the mech uh, which is uh, which is right for for you and there's a whole load of plants pushing in now and oh no I just had my my missile go up but those roses like 1v1 against a rose the rose has an okay chance of winning because they are so unbelievably powerful and I'm actually uh, going to be doing the uh, the next masterclass episode uh, on the uh, the rose and I am really looking forward to that because then I'm going to get a uh, a chance to really show off 
uh, what I can actually do uh, when I'm playing a character uh, that I really like playing as. I will be honest, the imp hasn't grown on me. Like, there's times when I'm in a mech and I get, like, a good position and I'm destroying. And I'm like, this is the best thing in the world. But in general, I just feel I just feel too weak. I just feel like going one-on-one -on -one, uh, against any of the, the plants. I just feel like uh, I'm really not going to, to be able to, to win. And I think the, the way I play... As I really like like uh, flanking. You see that I don't often run straight to my teammates. I kind of see where everyone else is fighting, and then I try and like sneak around and try and get behind the uh, the enemies if I if I can and try and surprise them. And I feel like this isn't a uh, a good character uh, for that. And so what I recommend, I recommend playing this character. One, if you just think he's fun and uh, you're enjoying playing as him. And also if you if you really like the, the mechs and like that's the, the best way uh, you think uh, you have for helping your team, I'd play as the, the imp then. If you think you play more like me, uh, then I recommend probably not being him too much. But as I said, it always matters on the uh, the situation, the game type you're playing, whether you're winning or losing or, or what situation you're in. So here, that would have been, if I, had a, if I was a bit stronger, Backing down that uh, staircase uh, would be good because that would mean that that Rose would have to come uh, and try and hunt me down. And then that means I'm basically taking her out of the battle. So to do well, it's not always uh, about actually taking out the other players. Sometimes you just want to distract them. So sometimes just like making someone see you and then backing off her a little bit and then kind of making them chase you, uh, sometimes that is actually better uh, than taking them out. Because if you kill them or vanquish them, they're just going to respawn and then they're going to be fighting again. But if you like make them like chase you around the map for ages, then they're not playing for ages. And if you're defending, uh, then you're kind of just taking someone out the battle. And if there's a few people chasing you, uh, then I think that's uh, even a better idea. So there we go. I was able to, to win as the, the zombies. I don't think I did uh, uh, particularly great there. Uh, as I said, that's not really the, uh, uh, the character for me. But hey, uh, so far, uh, I have been able to, to win uh, every uh, every game I've done for this uh, this series. So, as I mentioned, uh, coming up next is going to, to be me playing as the uh, the Rose. And uh, I'm not sure, I think I might do um, uh, just the, the normal skirmish mode, you know, where you're just trying to uh, take out the other players. I think I might do that for the, the Rose, just to, to show off uh, some of her moves and just, just show uh, how powerful she is. Because, oh, here she is. <laughs> Speak of the, the flower. Yeah, because she really is just perfect in pretty much every single situation. But uh, what I thought would be fun uh, before the end of the episode is just to buy a few more sticker packs and uh, to go and dress up the the imp. I realised uh, I didn't actually go and uh, dress up the uh, the imp, uh, so I am going to go and uh, do that just to, just to at least make him look a little bit better. So Taylor, let's buy uh, one more of these packs. And uh, hopefully I'm going to get uh, something else for the, the imp. Oh, I, I got something there. So I can go and see uh, what that was. And also, why not? Uh, let's go and get one of the uh, the character packs as well. Because these are, these are the best ones. Uh, these are the ones that are guaranteed uh, to get you a brand new character. And it looks like I got a, a new pirate. I got Captain Flameface. Oh, these ones are good. The ones that do flame damage are really good. Because uh, once someone's set on fire, they kind of get continually hurt. Uh, so yeah, that might be a, a good pirate to, to play as. But for now, uh, let's go over to the... Um, Oh, I'm on the plant side, aren't I? Right, I need to go and, um... Right, let's go and switch over to the, uh, the zombie side, quick. And I can go and, uh, just dress up my, uh, my imp and just make him look, uh, nice and fancy. For no reason. <laughs> just because, uh, I thought it'd be, uh, quite fun, uh, for the, the end of the, uh, the episode here. So, there we go. I'm now on the, the zombie side. Luckily, I am a, an imp all, uh, already. And if you don't know how to do these, by the way, you can use the, uh, the D-pad. And you can go and, like, do some dances. And you can just say things and stuff. It doesn't really help you, but it's, uh, it's good fun to, to do. <laughs> Right then, let's uh, let's see what we have then. So let's go and play with the appearance. So, um, uh, what's the best one? I kind of like that one. I do like the the brain scrambler one. And there we go. There's the uh, the bow beardo. <laughs> I can go and have and uh, oh, there's different weapon skins. I didn't even know they had that. And there we go. Now now I, at least uh, at least I look cooler now. I don't like the character anymore, uh, but certainly uh, I look a lot better than I that I did before. <laughs> Oh dear. So anyway, that is the, the end of this episode here. Hopefully uh, you are enjoying this series. I'll be leaving uh, a link down in the uh, the description uh, to the next episode once it's online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!